Hello and welcome back. I am Conan Librarian with Conan's EDC, Easy Dad Carry, and I want to. I wanted. Mm. Hello and welcome back. I am Conan Librarian with Conan's EDC, Easy Dad Carry, and today I wanted to do a five month gear review on my Mangarista wallet and badge reel. Let's take a look. So I want to start off up top by apologizing. I sound a little raspy because I might be losing my voice. So we're going to power through this, though, because, well, I really wanted to talk about this. This is actually going to be the first in a few of these video series where I start reviewing some of the gear that I've shown on this channel. Um, I recently was contacted by Mangarista, and they said, hey, it's been a while. Would you do another video? Because we hit a million in sales which is pretty big for any smaller company. And I, I said yes, because what I realized is uh, I recently did a work carry video and I 100% left out my work keys. Now I talked about my jangled trash and my light and my pocket knife and my pen. I talked about a lot of stuff that I carry, but I did not mention my Mangarista lanyard badge reel and i did not mention my mancarista wallet and there's a very good reason for that it's because and this is honestly one of the best endorsements that i can give it is not exciting to me just like putting my pants on and going to work is not exciting just like putting on my uniform is not exciting just like grabbing my car keys and my lunch although i usually forget my lunch but that stuff isn't exciting it's an integral part of my day, and that's what these two items have become for me. Now, I'm going to drop a link up, boop, right here for one of the original reviews I did on this badge reel. And this is actually the original one that I compared it to. And as you can see, after five months, this thing is showing some wear. The paint's worn off. Uh, it's the original same key ring on here. It's the same... Uh, carabiner up top and it's the modification that I went with originally where I took this off because I don't wear a badge I don't need a badge um, and I didn't want the extra length on this because I wear it on my belt and I didn't want it with keys to be hanging that low I usually wear this on a front belt clip so I took off this little triangle here which uh, to Mangarista's credit was tough it took a couple tools and just put the key ring through that and put my keys on there and I have now worn this on my belt loop every day, five or six days a week for the last five months. And I have to say, this is one of the most reliable pieces of gear that I carry. Um, the function of it is still awesome. Now, this key ring, this badge reel, I use it. Um, I unlock my main building. I unlock the room that I work in. I unlock glass windows uh, that I interact with technicians and uh, customers through. I operate a parts house at a dealership, so I am constantly also going in and out of inventory rooms and uh, different things like that. So these keys are used multiple times a day. Multiple times a day, I run it out to its full 32 inches and never have to worry about it not coming back to me. As a matter of fact... Depending on the angle where I'm letting them go, I kind of have to be careful. Like I said, I wear it on a front belt loop. So, yeah, there's still plenty of snap in that. Now, if you listen, there is a little bit of a sound difference. Now, after five months, I don't know if it's at all. I, I don't know what that sound difference is. I don't know if maybe there is some wear on it. I'm really not sure, but that being said, this is this thing performs the same every day that it does now uh, after five months of consistent, constant use as the first day I clipped this to my belt and started wearing it. So, yeah, if you wear keys on the outside, if you have a badge reel. So another thing in this video here that I, I linked is that Mangarista also does badge reels that clip on to your shirt. Uh, it actually has 
a hook clip on the back. And the reason I don't have any of those is because I gave them away and I gave them to my wife to take to, she works at a hospital to give to some nurses. Uh, and if you are in nursing or know anyone in nursing, you know that they wear a ton of crap. I mean, it's flashlights, it's pens, it's Sharpies, it's multiple badges and all sorts of junk. And their badge reels wear out all the time. And the nurses that got this, uh, the one with the clip on it, are still using it and absolutely love it. So, uh, yeah, they're just... I could not recommend this thing enough. The other piece that, again, I didn't mention was my wallet. This was one of the things I picked out because I wanted to try something different. I was using a regular billfold and I wanted something both minimal, but that had some EDC options. So when I was exploring around and found this, I was really excited. Uh, in that video where I showed this off, uh, I talked about a few things I was going to load it out with. And for the most part, it stayed the same. I will say on the outside, if you read some of the reviews, people say that this pocket stretches here. Hold on, I need to clear my throat. Sorry about that. But I usually keep two cards in here. It is not stretched out at all. The couple cards go in here, and then my ID, as well as uh, a couple other small things, go in here as well. Uh, another thing I was worried about was that after a while, maybe this front part would get warped or kind of sticky, like a lot of wallets have that clear plastic. But my wallet rides in here, and if I need to take it out, or my ID rides in here, if I need to take it out, Honestly, it pops in and out, no problem, even if it's been a hot day or I've been really hot, because I I carry this in my back pocket. I'm a guy that still carries and sits on his wallet in his back pocket, and I've never had a problem with this. <clears throat> on the inside, it's still actually pretty close to the original loadout that I planned on carrying. It has stayed pretty much the same. This is a little knockoff. Victorinox, just pop the scales. I don't have the toothpick and tweezers, but I really don't, that that wasn't something I was as much concerned about, uh, but I still have a tiny little blade, a little file, a little pair of scissors. Uh, this guy. All right, we're going to focus. There we go. Uh, I was actually, I could not, I've pronounced it wrong in multiple videos until Trains51 actually uh, left a comment on my video about my... Um, DIY my carry toolkit. Uh, it's a French word, so it's not pronounced Fresnel. It's pronounced Fresnel. So thank you, Trains51. But a Fresnel lens, both for helping to see things and in an emergency, these absolutely can be used to start a fire if you have good sunlight. So a Fresnel lens absolutely has been Super convenient to have and super helpful outside of even if I'm at work and need to read something. A uh, little bit of first aid. Uh, this guy needs replaced. I guess in the future I could put it in a little baggie, but uh, I've actually replaced this several times because with that and the band-aids. There we go. A couple band-aids. A little antiseptic towelette has been super useful and helpful so that way... When the children or I inevitably get a nick or a cut or a little boo-boo, being able to have something on me when I, every time it happens, I seem to not have my go bag, my sling bag, my meds, my medicine kit, whatever it is, having a couple band-aids on me with a little tallet has been actually super useful. Uh, some cash, which more cash than I usually have, but some cash, some right in the rain paper. Uh, I actually usually keep a couple pieces in here. Uh, I took them out because uh, writing the rain paper not only is it good because if my wallet gets soaked, you know, I still have paper, but also because if I rather I have some information, contact information, and important information written down on this, so that way in case of an emergency, I have that with me. And again, I don't really have to worry about it getting damaged too much if my wallet gets wet. Uh, I don't actually always carry a whole bunch of loyalty cards on me. I swapped out some insurance cards and other things for these. Uh, but a few other cards actually fit and ride inside super easily. Alright, so uh, with this two inside, 
Uh, I actually just put one of these in my bit vault if you saw my lever gear video. This one, it's a little smaller. I think it's 10, maybe 15 feet of 50 pound Kevlar cord just wrapped around a bread tie. So that way I can, I always have something in case I need repair, or I lose a button, and I need to sew, uh, shoelace breaks, whatever it is. Just need to bind some gear. This stuff is great and it's super packable. Uh, a couple bread ties, which are useful in a lot of different ways. I've even used them as impromptu hair ties for the daughter. Could be used as kindling or a little bit of fire supply if need be. Uh, yeah, zip tie just because it's useful if I need to bind something small. And then up here is actually a little tiny whistle. It's one of the tiniest whistles I've found in a long time. And I like the idea of having something in case of an emergency, whether I need... Uh, I need help or assistance or I need to signal to my kids, whatever it is, having a tiny little whistle. Uh, I have not had to use it yet, thankfully, but if need be, my children also know that I have a whistle. Um, we have whistles in our carry packs for uh, camping and hiking, and they know that uh, if there's a problem or an emergency, that I actually carry a whistle with me pretty much all the time so yeah i'm gonna pack this up again all right so zip that back up uh the whistle riding up top honestly does not bother me at all uh with the fit and the feel of this wallet uh i can't even feel that it's in there i don't even think about it so yeah the mangarista wallet the mangarista badge reel uh <laughs> equipment you are so good you'll forget you're carrying it which when it comes down to edc as much as i love all my other gear as much as i like to play with stuff uh new flashlights new knives new pens play around with my jangle carry crap uh to me the biggest endorsement i can give is the fact that these things ride every day i don't even think about it they're automatic and that really says something to me about the quality of a piece of gear. I don't want to sound like an infomercial. Uh, I I don't want to sound like a broken record. I am an affiliate with Mangarista. Uh, when you go to the Mangarista site, I'll link that. You can actually use coupon code Conan's EDC. I'll put it below. Make sure uh, copy and paste it or type it out exactly as seen. It gets you 20% off at the site. And it does actually help the channel. And I mean, that's really big for me here. I'm one guy making videos at my desk. But the big thing, you know, a while ago, I made a promise that I was not going to put something on my channel that I didn't recommend myself, that I wouldn't use, buy, give to family or friends if it's not worth it. Uh, I'm not going to put something on the channel just because I was sent it for free because that's not why I do this. I do this because it's fun. I do this because I like it. And I carry these because honestly, they're just easy. And at the end of the day, you know, my channel is called Easy Dad Carry. And an easy wallet and an easy key solution for work is honestly some of the best gear I absolutely can have. So Mangarista, congratulations on a million in sales. Uh, thank you for watching and spending your time with me. Go to the site pick up some gear, and uh, yeah, really enjoy forgetting about it because it's just that usable. So thank you for spending your time with me, and as always, stay safe, be prepared, and have a great day.